Prove it. Everybody so. says. <laughs> we'll see it. Are we ready? Yeah. Cam, just wonder what your reaction and the team's reaction was uh, when you learned about uh, Coach Sarkeesian getting the promotion. Uh, you know, uh, um, it was just kind of, you know, okay, well, that's our offense coordinator now. That's something, you know, we, we try not to you know, put too much focus into. We just kind of want to do our job. Um, no matter who the coordinator is or no matter who, you know, um, is calling the players or anything, um, we just kind of, okay, well, that's what we're doing. Well, let's go. I know you guys haven't had a, a lot of direct interaction with him, but just his reputation and, you know, the numbers we've seen put up at USC and Washington when he was there. Uh, what kind of confidence do you guys have that he's the right fit for the job? Uh, I, you know, I got a lot of coaches in the world. Uh, you know, I know he's a great offensive mind, and uh, you know he'll be able to do some things. Uh, you know, uh, on offense, and we, you know we'll be be pretty, be pretty effective. Excuse me. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Kayla, what's your take on the, just Jonah Williams the season he's had? Um, when you obviously probably in the plays, you don't maybe see him as much on the other end, but just watch a film and stuff. What you've seen of him has growth. He's been great, man. Some. Um, so I think sometimes we kind of honestly forget him. Like we don't think about the fact that he's a freshman, you know. Um, and when you kind of think about that, you, you realize how special it is what he is doing. And uh, once you once you once you kind of compound how well he is playing, and consider the fact that he is, a, you know, a freshman, it, it's, it's pretty special what he's you know been able to go out there and do. How hard is that? Because we don't see a lot of guys coming and do what he's done. What you know? What is it that separates him? Oh uh, man, um, I think it's I think it's his work ethic. How much how much he bought into what we're doing. Know how hard he works, how much he's committed to the game. Uh, his commitment, his commitment to you know wanting to be great, and you know wanting to be one of the best is you know is, is pretty high. So uh, I think I think that's like the main the main attribute, I guess, to uh, one of the main attributes to his success. You've obviously been through this before. Uh, these few weeks off before having to get back in with potentially another game to play afterwards. What do you think you found is sort of the key to make it work, where you kind of. You know, don't overexert yourself, but you know, still getting enough work before this game. Uh, I think it's just taking care of your body. Um, as long as, as long as you take care of your body, you know, do the things you need to do off the field. You know, in the training room, making sure you're hydrated, make sure you're eating right, so that your body, you know, feels as best as it can. Because I mean, it's tough. I mean, we're, we're expecting it to be tough, and we don't. We're not expecting it to be easy. So, uh, you know, I think the way you take care of your body when you're off the field, so that when you are on the field, you're as fresh as possible. I think that's you know the main the main key. Do you see playing in Atlanta as an advantage? Obviously, Washington has come across the country. Uh, that's not even something that I kind of think about. Uh, you know, we they told us we were in Atlanta, so we're playing in Atlanta. Uh, I don't, I ain't really think much about any home field advantage or anything like that. I mean, I guess it's kind of a good thing that our fans are closer, so you know, we we'll probably travel a little bit. This offense has developed and gelled a lot over the course of the season. Where do you see the one area that maybe the offense has improved the most from day one to now? Um, I think all in all, just playing as a unit, just you know, just just knowing uh, what the guy being being extremely comfortable with the guy next to you, and then, you know that takes time. Uh, that's not going to be there week one, or uh, you know maybe even week two or week three. That's going to take you know time for us to get you know down the road in jail with each other. You know, um, I think that that's a process that's going to, that's going to happen every year. You know, it happens at every school every year. So you know that's that's probably just been what we gotten better at the most, and just ultimately just playing with each other. You know, trusting each other. You know, just chilling. The, uh, the playoff is obviously unique. Um, there are guys on this roster who the only thing they've known is the playoff. How much of an advantage is that? Um, I mean, I, I think if, if it does have an advantage, it's just us, you know, knowing what to expect. You know, us knowing, knowing what you know what it takes to, you know, with with myself, um, you know, the guys who were here. Also, you know, we we've been on the winning side and the losing side of the playoff, so. Uh, we know, you know, what goes into it and what to expect and what type of grind is going to take for us to be successful. Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Cam. Yeah. Thank you.